Good. Panthers show blitz. Here comes Here pressure. Prescott twisted down at the five. You got the blitz off the edge by Mr. Shaq Thompson. Russell Wilson in trouble. Wow. Sacked at the three. And that pocket collapsed immediately. Let's go. We are joined by one of the most athletic, explosive young linebackers in this league right now, coming off a career year, looking to break out even further in 2019. Guys, welcome from the Carolina Panthers, Shaq Thompson. What's up, Shaq? How you feeling? How you doing? I'm feeling good, man. How about yourself? We're great. We're excited to talk to you. You are entering season number five. It's a big one for you. This feels strange to say even now. Thomas Davis, your former teammate, is now a Los Angeles Charger, which means you might be losing something of a mentor, but you're getting big opportunities on the field. What is your mindset headed into this year? Um, just really just going out there and just uh, showing everybody, including myself, man, what I learned behind Thomas and Luke in those matter of four years. And getting that opportunity my fifth year is really go out there and just – play football, play the game that I love, and really just get back to myself and uh, show the Panthers why they draft me uh, and back in 2015. And um, just being able to have that confidence out there and just play fast and help my team out. Shaq, you're, play- you're talking about pl- playing confident and fast, but this year a little bit different. Right? You've been an off-the-ball linebacker for-, for your career in Carolina, but you guys are switching schemes now from a 4-3 to a 3-4 defense. Tell us what- how that's different for you and-, and what it's been like with a new defensive coordinator. Um, it's just just going from outside. Really, the only difference is just going from outside to inside. You know, seeing a lot of stuff from outside is different than seeing stuff from the inside, just how fast it is. I mean, you when you're outside, you still got a little bit of time to – you know what I mean? Develop the route, develop the play, and then shoot your gun. Once you're inside, it's really got to develop it now, and then shoot your gun. So, I mean, I enjoy just doing this 3-4. I think it fits my uh, skill set well. I mean, it's the same. I mean, at the end of the day, football is football. I mean, you're either going to run the ball, you're going to pass the ball, and stuff like that. So, I mean, the only thing that's different is just the gaps and some stuff like that. But other than that, to me, it's all the same. It's just football. Shaq, are we interrupting your breakfast? Where are you right now? This is fantastic. I feel like we've got great scenery behind you. Where are you? Uh, I'm in this little building that they do. Uh, they have, like, media and stuff here, and they have, like, uh, having some breakfast, a uh, little orientation this morning. So that's where I'm at. Okay, that was an important question. Um, <laughs> on to this next one. 2018, your team was the subject of Amazon's All or Nothing, which meant cameras were on you guys for an entire season. It was released last week. Have you watched any of it, and has anything stood out the most to you, having been one of the actors, so to say, in the show, and now seeing it all play out on television? Um, to be honest with you, I watched the first two um, episodes that they showed at the premiere. Um, but just looking back on that season, you could tell probably in that film that uh, like we never as a team got down on ourselves. We never quit. I mean, we always stayed together, we stayed united, and... Uh, we just kept pushing through the season, and uh, we really prepared for every game as we're going to win and stuff like that. But football, you never, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You win some, you lose some. But uh, I think that brought us closer as a team, and we're all looking forward to the season because we know how that stretch that we had it wasn't it wasn't the great for us, but we uh, we know what that felt like, and we know how we're going to come out this year. I'm sure it must have been disappointed, especially that second half when you struggled, mostly due to Cam Newton and his injury. Because when healthy, this team, the Carolina Panthers, are as talented and can be as successful as any team. So what did you specifically learn and take away from that disappointing end to the season? Sometimes you're not. Sometimes games are not always going to go good. Um, when they go bad, it's just – really just going to bring out the poise of you and your teammates and uh, what, what happened to Cam really hurt us but as a team we got to step up um, Coach Rivera always pre- uh, preaches uh, next man up and next man mentality and I feel like we did that regardless of what happened and uh, we're, gonna, we're ready for this year Shaq, I've mentioned the Cat Pack on this show. That's the pa- the Panthers' collection of young offensive skill players. Christian McCaffrey, Curtis Samuel, DJ Moore. That's what you guys are calling them. But for the viewers at home, I'm a big college football fan. I think all of us at the table are. You had 430 yards of offense in your junior year of college at Washington. When do we get Shaq Thompson mm. as a part of the Cat Pack? Are you playing offense in Norv Turner's offensive yeah. scheme this year? Where's the Shaq Pack? I want to see the Shaq Pack. 
No, nah, I probably won't be joining the cat pack, but uh, I do every day talk to Norv like, man, Norv, just let me get a rip, just one rip to show you my skill set. And I always tell him like, man, I won the Paul Horn Award and all that. And Norv's just like, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> you know what? My time to shine is uh, when I'm on scout helping the young guys out. You know what I mean? I just go back there and have some fun and run them back. I think Shaq just totally BS'd us. I think he's playing offense. You got a trick play up his sleeve, and we cannot wait for it. Shaq, before you go, there's an important thing we got to ask. All right. You're a Sacramento guy. Grant Union High School mm-hmm. in Sacramento. Huge Kings fan. So explain this to it. How do you end up with the name Shaq? It's like a Red Sox fan naming their kid Jeter or a Jets fan <laughs> naming his son Gronk. Shouldn't you be Vlade Thompson or Peja Thompson? Why would your parents do this to you? Bibby Thompson? We can keep going. Pollard Thompson? Christy, Christy Thompson? Christy Thompson? Why aren't you one of those? Man, uh, this is the story. This is the story. My mom was uh, she's in the hospital wherever, and uh, – Shaquille O'Neal was playing, and uh, I guess she told me, I guess he was playing against the Lakers. And she was like, man, I just like the name Shaq, and uh, we just named you Shaquille. So, I mean, that's the true story about what happened and why I'm named Shaq. Well, we know that you live up to the name. So, Shaq Thompson, we wish you nothing but luck this season. Thank you for giving us a peek and all or nothing to how resilient and mentally sound this entire squad is going into 2019. We wish you an epic year. Go get some waffles or something. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Got some watermelon and strawberries right here. I appreciate you guys, man. Have a good right. rest of your day. All right. See you, Peja. See ya. Thompson, Scott Pollard, we'll see you. We need like a, a cat nickname for him. I was trying to think. For it, it's Shaq? Yeah. Uh, Shaq right. talks pretty good. Let me think about it. Yeah. Sha- yeah. I mean, it's tough. We talked the show talking about Catrick Mahomes yeah. as some Chiefs fans <laughs> cat. So we'll work on Yow it. Yow Holmes yeah. at GMFB. We are Catrick's learning more better. about Tom Brady and his contract. We're going to go deep on this. There's some pretty. 